Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Porcelain Purgatory. So today I'm doing a Gothic Punk Rave review video for the store, specifically Punk Rave Australia. But before I get to any of that, I wanted to quickly mention that I am receiving all of these items for free. I have not paid for the items themselves, I have not paid for postage, I have paid for nothing. Um, the reason I'm getting these is because I am doing these video reviews, so in return for the reviews, the items I am receiving are free. However, these reviews are 100% honest and true, they are my personal opinion, I do not represent Punk Rave or anything like that, I am not making things up, I'm not trying to be extra positive, these are just my personal thoughts and opinions on the items in which I've received. Now, I have received five items in total, and that's a fair bit, so this video might get a little bit long. The very first one is a vest. This came from the China-based store, and as far as I know, it went from China to the Australian Punk Rave office area, and then was sent to me, so it ended up arriving a fair bit late compared to the other items, but only because of those extra steps that had to take place. The reason for that was I think that the manager just wanted to check over and make sure it was all okay and such. I don't believe that typically happens, I believe it usually just goes straight to the person who bought it, so that shouldn't be a worry for you guys, that's just something I've noticed for me. This package here is the other items. Uh, this package consists of pants, a coat, a shirt, as well as a brooch, all of which look absolutely stunning from the photos in which I've been shown so far. The vest, the coat, and the pants all match together, so it's all part of a set, which is really exciting. I'm really looking forward to how that all looks together. What I'm gonna be showing on the screen now is essentially the full outfit. Um, as you can see, the model is wearing a white version of the shirt, Although it does come in white, I have gotten the black version specifically, so that is a little inaccurate, but other than that, that's generally how the outfit should look all together. The first item I will be reviewing today is the Gothic Partial Placket Lotus Leaf Loose Shirt. It's a bit of a mouthful to say all that, but um, it, it's, it's the name of the item. Uh, the rest of the items do have a lot more simple names, thankfully, so yeah, let's get on with it. The main material is listed as a micro wrinkle textured cotton. Although, looking at the item's photos, it does appear to have some more decorative lace too, which is really cool. The material chart says that it should be loose and soft with slight elasticity. Since it is listed as being thinner, but not to the point of transparency, I expect that it should be fairly breathable and thin enough that it won't be too hot to wear in the hotter seasons. This is especially useful because these seasons here in Australia tend to lean a lot more towards being hot and humid. The next item is the Gentleman Punk Simple Vest. The site describes this as a dark jacquard woven blazer. Since I wasn't actually sure what jacquard was, I gave it a quick search on Google, which describes it as a cloth fabric that features a raised pattern that is woven instead of printed. If you look closely at the photos on this site, you can see this sort of floral-like design, which I believe is what the jacquard is referring to. This is really useful because printed designs often fade, whereas if it's woven into the fabric itself, it might fade the colour, but the actual design itself will never disappear. The material chart says that it should be fitted, soft and thin with slight elasticity. Since it is thin, I don't expect it to be the warmest during the winter months, but I feel that it will generally work for colder evenings throughout the majority of the year. There appears to be two pockets on either side of the front, and it buttons up at the middle. Pockets are especially useful when you're like me and you have to carry around your keys, your wallet, your phone, etc. So that's definitely something I look forward to with this item. The third item I will be reviewing is the Gentleman Punk mid-length coat. Again, the material seems to be dark jacquard woven suit fabric, and it is said to be fitted, soft, thin, and have slight elasticity. There does also appear to be a metal clasp, although the picture is a little unclear, I think this is used to connect the front part together. It does look like the front is also fairly open, which exposes the chest a bit. This is brilliant, as it'll really show off any vests that I decide to wear, or the chiffon fancy tie thing that I also love to wear sometimes. The coat itself looks also to be very long, which is very exciting. If it is too long, that is fine though, because I do have platform boots that are literally five and a half inches tall, meaning I can wear it regardless of its length. Surely it won't be much longer than that. <laughs> the fourth item is the Gentleman Punk Simple Trousers. The description for the pants says that the materials are dark jacquard woven suit fabric yet again. It says that it has an insert pocket at the back, which, although is worded a little confusing, I think that just means it's a regular pocket at the back. Um, the material chart says that it should be fitted, soft and thin with slight elasticity, which I assume is a regular sort of statistical values for those, for the jacquard type material. 
I do expect the materials for the vest, jacket, and pants to be fairly similar, as they are all listed as being jacquard, and they are all part of the same set. I also expect the colours to be fairly identical since it is meant to be matching. However, I do expect these items would work perfectly well on their own. The idea of the an actual set is still very exciting though. The final item for today is a gothic glass brooch. As the name implies, it is meant to be made out of metal and glass. Of course, this means it'll be hard and inelastic. It's not going to be stretchable or anything like that with the materials it's made out of. But this is also listed on the website, which is still useful and it means that it's consistent. So for now, I'm going to put Skittles over to the side since I don't really need my plush right now. Um, I kind of just have a bunch of plushes with me since they just kind of help my mental state a bit. So yeah, just take my looks. Um, now to open up the first item, if I can get my knife open. So, we're going to go with the big package first, solely because I want to review the items sort of in order. Um, the vest you would traditionally put on after a shirt, so I'm going to try and do the shirt first, since that seems like a logical order in which to do things. So, here we go! As you can see, that's all the items in there in their own little bags. But I think this... Okay. This one here looks to be the shirt. Oh, First of all, you notice how beautifully folded it is, but oh, the design on it's awesome. See, it's got like a beautiful collar. I love collars on shirts. Like, it's just a definite hell yes to me if there's a collar on it. I've just got the metal, uh, sorry, the wooden coat hanger to help structure the shoulders and stuff properly. It does have these cute little buttons and if you notice it's kind of got like little swirls and they remind me of vine. Then it's kind of got this sort of like, I don't know what you'd call that, it's a strap with these little patterns on it which kind of reminds me of like lattice work in housing which is pretty cool. Um, one thing I did notice when I was wearing it is like over here, that's sewn on, like that's sewn into the fabric, whereas here it's like a loose strap, and I think the reason for that is just the uh, frilly bits. Um, if it had been sewn down, the frilly bits wouldn't be so frilly and life lively. Um, down the middle, we've got like a button, so like this top button isn't done up, that was difficult for me to find. Like, there's just like a little button here not inside the flap, whereas all the other buttons are, I'll show you further down, like they're inside this flap, so that way they're hidden, you can't see them when they're done up, it just adds like this illusion that the flap is just like a decorative thing and not like a logical thing. Of course having button up bits and such does definitely make it easier to take an item on and off than if it didn't have anything down the middle, but yeah, um, then it's kind of got these really really nice sleeves. So like it's got like this sort of strap that goes around the wrist so it's slightly tighter. Um, two buttons so that can be undone and there's like a there's like a split that goes there um, which is really useful for like if it's too hot and you want to roll your sleeves up. I don't think it actually stays up if you roll your sleeves up but I haven't really tried. Um, I don't like wearing them up and I feel like that might ruin this part a bit so I don't want to try just in case. Uh, this is just the back of the shirt. Um, it's mostly just creased because it is just kind of lying there instead of being hung up or worn. Um, as you can see it's not really exciting from the back point of view. Like obviously the lace you can see from the uh, uh, what do they call it? The sleeves? <laughs> and then from the collar but other than that the back is definitely not exciting. So that's why you'd get like a vest or a coat or something to wear over the top. The front is meant to be the exciting part, not the back, so that is to be expected. Now this is the vest. The vest. So it comes with like a, a, a receipt on the front of it there, of which I like to not show you guys strictly because uh, you guys don't need to know where I live. But that's essentially the receipt that they give you, which is for what they do. So 
So next up is this stunning vest. If you look really closely, you can see like these sort of uh, designs. Like I don't quite think they'd be considered floral, but they definitely remind me of floral. Like that there kind of looks like it could be a flower. Otherwise, it's just really nice swirly looking little patterns. Um, if you look even closer, it does still have like pinstripes, which most suits do have, which definitely adds like that little bit of extra character. On the front, there are these metal buttons. I'm fairly certain that they're metal, um, judging by touch and the sound when you kind of like tap them with things. Like when I tap them with my nails, they sound fairly metallic as well as if I accidentally tap it with my rings. If you notice, like, do you look close? The camera will focus. It's got like these beautiful designs on it. Like it's not just a boring plain old button. It's got this beautiful, beautiful design. Um, sadly, one thing that I was a little disappointed in was the pockets. So if you look, they're fake pockets. Like that's all sewn there. Um, my camera's not focusing. That's all sewn there. And then it's kind of got like this one little tiny bit, only enough for two fingers to fit of gap there. So I'm not sure if that's meant for pens, because I find it odd because on this side, it's on the inner part instead of the outer part, which doesn't really make much sense. And it is a little disappointing that they're not proper pockets, but as long as you've got like a decent pair of pants, pockets aren't too important, I suppose, not in the best at least. Um, as you can see, all of Punk Rave's clothing does come with the tag and the sizing, so that, that way you can find out what size it is fairly easily if you forget. This is a medium. This fabric here is sort of like the, the inner material you find in leather jackets. So, I have a leather jacket, I found it at a thrift shop, and it's obviously like really cool and stuff, but it's got like the exact same kind of fabric there. Like it, visually looks the same and it physically feels the same but yeah so that's the front of the vest so this is the back of the vest first thing you'd notice is this really really beautiful buckle as well as a little um i think they're called eyelets uh which is where the sticky bit of the buckle obviously goes into um that little strap adds like a lot of character to it like it Without that, it would be fairly plain on the back and very uninteresting. Um, obviously, like, you'd wear, like, a blouse with this, possibly even a jacket over the top. And if you have a jacket, you're not going to see that. But if you get hot and you just want to wear the shirt and the vest, something like that really adds just that little bit of extra character and makes it a tiny bit more exciting. Um, it's very well made. Like, none of the stitchings are coming undone or anything. It's all sewn down properly. It feels really good to the touch. It's sort of... It, it's like comfy. Now for the jacket. This here is the coat, the jacket. Um, obviously it's a little harder to show this one just from its like sheer length. Like this table is probably a meter, maybe a meter and a half in length and it doesn't fit the item. Um, I do have this uh, coat hanger on it, just ignore that. That's just to kind of help it sit better. Um, plus it means I can have it kind of go over the edge without it sagging. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the Punk Rave, um, like, logo and sizing, which is obviously helpful. Small was absolutely perfect sizing for me, like, perfect. Um, here we've got, like, the, uh, flappy bits that add a little bit of extra character. But if you notice, it does have a secret hidden pocket, and this is a proper pocket, so, like, it's not very deep. I don't think a phone would properly fit in it, but it definitely is helpful to have pockets. Um, like maybe you could put your go-kart in there or something smaller. Um, if you're Wiccan like I am, maybe some crystals, etc. It does also have these really beautiful buttons. Um, if you notice from the other, like the other items that I've shown you, these are different buttons altogether. They're not the same as the jacket I don't think and then definitely not the same as the pants but they are absolutely stunning and if, if you look it's like a little love heart like a little love heart and I'm showing you the wrong button but that's like a little love heart <laughs> again it's got that really beautiful sort of that just that really beautiful design and the pinstripes like that's definitely consistent throughout the items um, that are part of the same set and it, it's just 
stunning. Like, it's really, really beautiful. Um, down here, we've got, like, the little metal clasp. So that just kind of undoes like that. So that's the left side where it hooks into, and that's the right side, which is the actual hook itself. It's fairly easy to put on. Again, this is sort of like the uh, leather jacket inside material. I used to think that these were waterproof, but um, I'm fairly certain that they're not. I think they might actually uh, be meant to keep the item feeling warmer. Like, it's it's obviously comfortable and stuff, but I think it's actually a warmth thing. Um, this is like the very end of the actual tailcoat part, like the split part. Like, it, it is so long and it is amazing. I love 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 warm things and long things and squishy things like it's just it's so beautiful so this is the back of the jacket it does kind of look like these are pants but they're not that's just the uh the flappy towel coaty bit so don't get confused again it has these beautiful beautiful patterning on the buckles it does have two straps um so the vest only has one strap whereas this has two. I do believe this is the pants. Previous clothing I've gotten from Punk Crave, any folding marks disappear pretty quickly. Um, since this is only new, obviously it hasn't done that yet. <laughs> I do have this on it that just kind of helps to keep it more straight at the top. Now it does have like a little buckle here. Again, it's got that really beautiful little design on it, the same as the uh, vest and the coat does. Um, it's also got these really, really nice little buttons. So these are different to the vest. Um, I'd have to check the coat, you'll be seeing that shortly after this, but I don't think they're the same as the coat. Um, obviously, like this is a little crotch area, like, um, yeah, you've got like a little zipper there, so you just undo the buttons and then do the, um, undo the zipper if you need to do anything. Again, it's got that really beautiful, beautiful patterning on it, like, oh, it's just so beautiful, like, these bits kind of remind me of the yin yang, like, it's kind of repetitive, like, it doesn't have, obviously, the other part of the yin yang, but I think it looks stunning, like, I don't know, it just, it's, it's just really, really gorgeous. Hello everyone, so I just got dressed just then, and I realised I forgot the brooch. So, I'm going to look at that now, I have not looked at it, I haven't touched it, I have not opened it. This is the... That is a bit of tissue paper. This is the brooch. Oh wow, that's beautiful. So this here is the stunning, stunning brooch in which I've received today. I definitely have to say this is one of my favourite pieces. Um, I've never really been interested much in brooches or pins or things of this sort, but then again, I've never actually stumbled across something so beautiful like this, and just, it's utterly gorgeous. It's got like a dark sort of purpley, like a, a reddish purple on the outside and then slightly more bluish purple on the larger sequiny bits, I'm not quite sure what they're called, um, but like the larger chunky bits are more of a purple blue and these ones, these little smaller bits are more of a ready purple. But I think that it looks utterly gorgeous and I definitely think it'll work in pretty much any outfit. Um, or at least any outfit that I have. This is the back, so obviously the back isn't all that exciting. It's a pin, you don't really see this side. Um, it does have like a little hooky bit, the hook, the pin goes all the way out so you've got to be careful of that, not stab yourself with it. Um, but it does go in fairly easily, like it, it, do, it is properly secured, it won't, or at least it shouldn't come undone without any reason to do so. Um, this part does spin around a little bit, so make sh you've just kind of got to make sure it's facing the right way when you put it on. Um, I did notice that it didn't really turn around once it was pinned down, but while you're pinning it down it might be the wrong way, so you've just kind of got to turn it over like that and then it's fine. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out was just this little bottom bit. So it kind of looks like it's falling off, but I've noticed um, after like closer examination, this little inside bit here is actually curved. So it's not falling off, it's just shaped a little bit oddly. And then this top part is a little bit bigger than the bottom part, but um, you don't really notice that from afar. That was just something I noticed close up. 
I did initially think that it was coming off, but it's not, so that's obviously a good thing. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite pieces. Okay, so this is the shirt. The shirt, the shirt, the shirt. Just on its own, so without the vest and without the jacket. So I've noticed it's just a little bit kind of itchy, like the fabric, like... Especially like if I've got like the jacket on. The jacket definitely makes it feel a lot more uncomfortable. I wouldn't wear it with a jacket, probably not even with a vest. But it's, it's not too bad, like it, 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 it I, like, I like being able to do that with the sleeves, um, that's unrelated, but practically speaking, the lace does get in the way, so like if I'm trying to do a button, it'll fall so it's on my fingers and in the way, um, that might just be an issue of it's just a little too long, not so much just in general, um, I do know for certain that my hands are smaller than other people's hands, and it's kind of sad, but that's how it is, so perhaps it would just be a little more comfortable on people who have normal sized hands, so like, not me, but for me, like, when I put this out, it almost reaches my middle finger, my longest finger, so it's just too, a bit annoying for trying to do things practically, but for aesthetic looks, it still looks fairly cool. As you can see, it's also not symmetrical, so like, the, this is more to the left and the frilly bits more to the right it's not like directly down the middle these parts are symmetrical the button lining is just the middle part that isn't symmetrical um, i do like the neck though the neck i love having a higher necks and things it just it's pretty and it's comfy and it's fun to play with um but yeah this shirt isn't my favorite uh, but if you're interested in this type of style, I definitely recommend you have a look at it, maybe go buy one for yourself. Oh my god, it's my favourite part of this review, but the brooch is also another favourite part, like I have multiple favourite parts, and it's surprising, I don't, I don't know, it just, ah, uh, things feel good and they look good and it's just dull really good. Um, with this, as you can see, there's three buttons that go down each side. Uh, there's no like pockets or anything, um, you can kind of see the vest sticking out oddly at the bottom. I'm gonna undo the vest and just show you how that looks with it flat since it kind of pokes out because of um, the sizing. Uh, so now that now the vest is a bit flat so it just looks a bit better like right there. Um, the sleeves are like a little just the tiniest bit long, like this part here is obviously the shirt underneath it, but that there is like the end of the new jacket that I've got. I absolutely love it. I think it would be cool if they're actually a bit longer, um, but that's not necessarily and wouldn't really make any sense, like um, from a designer standpoint. Like I think more people would have problems with it if it was longer. It's just a personal sort of like, ooh, that would be cool kind of thought that I had. Um, here's the back of it, so as you can see it's got like these two little buckles, um, I think that could do the top one a bit tighter, um, so even, but, so with the, just a little bit of difficulty I can actually do up and undo the buttons from like just with my hands behind my back not looking, obviously you can just take it off and do it the normal way, but it's kind of cool to know that you can do that, like if you're on like a bus or something and you're like oh that's a bit tight now that I'm sitting, then you can just easily do that without having to take everything off and, you know. Um, definitely one of my favourite pieces. It definitely matches the vest in terms of the style and the colours as well as the pants. Um, I don't know. I think the matching kind of look feels just a little bit strange, like with how the shirt doesn't also match, but then a matching shirt would also feel like too much, so I don't know if maybe i'd wear the pants separately um like with something else and then this um with something else again but they are beautiful pieces on their own and they're beautiful just as beautiful together so i definitely recommend these everything like, oh. and it's got like really really long swoopy bits like like uh, i don't know how i can show that essentially they go down right to my ankles um, I'm very short, as you guys are probably very aware, I'm very, very short, so, uh, I don't think that'll traditionally be a problem for any of you. If you are shorter than me, this, this, this jacket is a size small, and I'm 5'11", 
five foot one or 157 centimeters. Um, so if it does end up being too long for you, platform boots are the way to go. I recently got a pair of platform boots, so I can, I if if anything and did end up being too long, I'd at least be able to wear it with those. Um, yeah, like I feel really really good with this. It feels good. It looks good. It's got like a little metal clasp. It's got the buttons. I'll show you the buttons closer in a second. It's got the it's got like both floral designs and then like that pinstripe look. So guys, the best, so I'm just gonna take this off. Now the vest is undone because of when I was showing the jacket. If you uh, remember, I had to undo it just so it fit a bit nicer. Um, but yeah, this is definitely too big, sadly. And I, I don't know, like... I kind of, like, I knew I would fit a size small better, but I had a feeling a size medium would be, like, too bad. But it, it's just, it's probably something that I won't wear because of sizing. And I usually wear shirts that are way too big, but I guess I didn't realise how much vests do need to be proper sizing. And, by the way, like, um... I do feel like the measurements on the Punk Grave website are very accurate to what their items look like. Here, that's like how extra the vest is. Like that from uh, like there, that's like where my chest ends, and this is all the extra bit worth. So definitely too big. Like I can't readjust it to fit a bit better. It's also a bit big on the shoulders. Um, yeah, like it, it, it's too big and that's a shame, but like, I still like the piece itself, like the piece itself is absolutely gorgeous. It does have- So those are the items that I'm reviewing, uh, then I've got the pants, which you'll see in a minute. So these are my pant legs, and as you can see, they do also um, have these sort of floralish designs all over them. It's really, really gorgeous, and I do think that these are very, very comfortable, like, I think I said the same about my jacket earlier, but I would gladly sleep in these. They're like definitely comfortable enough for that. If you notice at the bottom, just this part here, I have folded it up. And the reason for that is I am very, very short. And I've probably said that way too many times already, but my shortness means that it needs to be folded for it to be a suitable length for me. As you can see at the top, it does have this buckle. I've had to put it on the tightest setting. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed if you don't tighten it up, the crotch area looks very weird. Um, I am lying down now for this part because uh, I couldn't show this like top area without the camera deciding to go completely out of focus due to the lighting. So hopefully this works a bit better. It has the double buttons, which kind of slide over each other. They're not. The actual um, slits aren't very spaced apart, but this is really, really comfortable. Like the pants themselves, this position is not. But, oh, I just absolutely love them. Like, look how stunning the designs are. It's just utterly gorgeous. You can see the pinstripe's actually a lot easier um, with these for some reason, just on the camera, I mean. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the pattern so much, but it has the same patterns as the uh, vest and the jacket, and holy crap, I'm definitely in love with these. Sorry for the awkward angle, I didn't really have any other alternatives. But yeah, those are the pants, and holy shit, I love them. So that was all the items tried on, I hope you like the look of those. Since I don't have like a freestanding mirror thing or anything like that, I can't really tell what they look like until I review the footage when I'm editing it. But from how it feels and how I can see it when I look down, I think it just looks absolutely stunning. So yeah, the shirt overall I do enjoy, but the other items, oh my god, like the pants that I'm, I'm still wearing the pants, the vest and the jacket, which are just to my right where I'm pointing, are just phenomenal. Like. I've been to plenty of thrift stores, that's usually where I go for clothes shopping since I can't really afford much, um, and like I've obviously bought in suit pants before because they have them for really cheap there, but they're usually very boxy and not very shaped and not very like slim fitting or anything like that, and I have found that I have a personal preference for things that fit a lot tighter like on the legs, um, I find 
front and the tightness just to be really comfortable. With these, they're not super tight, but they are fairly slim fitting, I'd say. Like, I don't know, it's almost slim fitting, so I don't think it counts as slim fitting. Like, I do love the pants and the jacket. I'm gonna grab the jacket back. Oh, that's the best. I'm gonna grab the jacket back for a second. So, this material in the back here is the same stuff that they use on the inside of like the leather jacket that I have. And it, I don't know, it, I used to think it was waterproof, but I don't think it actually is. But it is actually really comfortable. So even without the jacquard being like felt on the back, that material on the actual coat feels really good as well. Like it's really comfortable. I like how kind of tight and fitting it is. I like how long it is. Oh, uh, I just wanna, my brain's like, I just want to take it home, but it already is home, so I do wonder if, if, if it would survive if I slept in it, because that is really, really comfy, and it's actually fairly warm as well, like, it's not particularly cold this evening, but it is getting into winter, and there have been some very, very cold mornings and cold nights, so like, I feel like this could actually work in place of my trench coat for bed. But I don't think I want to risk that because I don't want to break it. Um, I'm gonna take the dingle dingle dingle. <laughs> um, I think the brooch is really really beautiful as well. Like it's it's stunning. Like it might be only something kind of small, but I feel like it would suit a lot of different outfits. And it just it 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 adds just that little bit more personality to the outfit. You know, like this also has the sort of material I was talking about on the inside. But it's also really comfortable, despite feeling just a little bit too big. It feels comfortable. Um, while I'm at it, let's just look at the, the thingy. Yeah. So, with almost everything that I've bought from Punk Rave, or like everything that I've managed to look at the tags of as of so far, it all says to hand wash it instead of um, machine wash. I personally have been using the washing machine, I just use cold wash when I do the like punk rave clothing and I've had no problems with it. Um, the worst issue I had was with my first shirt when my three buttons came off. Um, easy enough to sew back on, like I had no difficulty sewing it on. Um, but yeah, like no difficulty putting it in the washing machine. It's probably not recommended, um, like it says cold like hand wash. Um, so if you guys do put it in the washing machine, do be careful. Maybe put like anything with buttons in like a pillowcase or something so you can catch all of them and sew them back on if they do fall off. Um, and I would definitely recommend using cold settings if you do put them in the washing machine because the heat probably will leach out the colour and stuff and make it faded. Um, for those of you who haven't tried Punk Rave, I can personally say, in, like this is my personal opinion, that they're really, really good and they're definitely worth having a look at and actually buying and trying things on if you're into this type of style. Postage. So, postage was through the Australian Post as per usual, which is fairly, you know, like, it, it makes sense since I'm in Australia, that's where most people post things through. Um, on no pro- this is not Punk Rose fault at all, but I've noticed that the postie in my area is particularly lazy. So, what they're meant to do is when they receive something that has, uh, it has to be signed for, they go to the door, they knock or they call out, then if you don't come within 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a few minutes, they leave and go on to the next person. They don't do that in my area, and they're definitely meant to, I've called up about it last time. What they do is, they're like, oh, I have, then somebody has to sign for this thing, I'm just gonna leave the skip, the, the little slip, and just skip all the steps so they're forced to pick it up from the post office which is a pain in the butt, um, like, again, it's not, it's not Punk Rave's fault, it's just the Australian Post Office, and it's different for every area, depending on who, you know, is actually, um, on duty, etc. So, yeah, that's a bit annoying, and that is another reason why it took, like, an extra couple of days to upload, um, since it's a 40 minute walk to the Post Office, but yeah, like, the postage itself, however, is always very quick. Um, and Punk Rave Australia always very quickly sends like um, tracking details as soon as like uh, the items dispatched and all that. Um, one thing I did personally notice was that because they text me the tracking details as well as email it, 
um, when I got the initial text less than a minute later, they were like, hey, no, sorry, that's the wrong tracking link. Personally, I did not want to click onto it, so I just like immediately deleted the incorrect one that they sent. But yeah, so I don't know if that's perhaps a, a slight privacy issue to be concerned of. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely happy with this. Customer service, as always, has been brilliant. I've never had an issue with customer service. Um, I keep in contact with the manager of Punk Ray. She always answers any questions, inquiries, problems, concerns, any of that very, very quickly. Um, I definitely think this was worth, like, I mean, I know I did not spend money on it, but I would have happily bought everything that I have here. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned in a previous video, because I keep forgetting, is that they do now have that zip pay thing where you pay over time. These are all my spare buttons. There goes one of my spare buttons. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with these pieces. Definitely worth the money. They feel comfortable. They look amazing. And ah, ah, ah. thank you all for watching. I wish you a wonderful video, a wonderful day. Bye bye. For those of you curious, these are my statistical measurements. So for the actual items in which I have received, I got a size small in everything except for the pants, which were a size medium, and except for the vest, which was too big. The vest should have been a size small, but we tried on a size medium for the sake of the video. Um, but yeah, I definitely would have gone a size lower for the vest, so hopefully that helps some of you guys. I thought it might be useful just to chuck in that information somewhere. So yeah, thank you.